Hey guys, uh, sorry I haven't been able to produce a few videos recently. I've been really busy with a bunch of other stuff, but uh, I replied to most of your comments on all of our other videos. Uh, feel free to leave more comments if you have any other questions. Uh, today I'm going to go over three new printing calculators that a GoPro Nopper got for me. I think a few of them we got at a garage sale and maybe some at Goodwill. Uh, we have a Texas Instruments, a Sharp, and a Casio, so three different brands. Uh, if we start over here, let me just set the camera down. This is a Texas Instruments TI-5045 SV printing calculator. Uh, I will plug this in right away so you guys can see. Go ahead and plug it in. Forgot to introduce Lord of the Waffles 1229. Hey guys, how are you? Uh, so here we are. You can turn it on. Here's our power switch. Uh, print item counter and grand total. The rounding button, or the rounding switch, excuse me decimals and uh, the tax rate set and calculator. Uh, here's the paper feed button, all of our number pads, the memory stuff, taxes. This is pretty cool. It's very similar to a calculator that I had before in the same series, the uh, Texas Instruments TI 5045 And we are planning on making a comparison video between these two calculators right here because they are so similar. So watch out for that guys. But this is pretty much your prototypical printing calculator. I still have to find a year on this one uh, and feed paper into it. It's being really fussy with the paper feed, so I'm still working on that. But uh, yeah, here's the back side of it. Let's see all the details and everything. That clear entry, clear, all the operations. That's about it for that one, I think. So we will move on to the next one, which is the Sharp EL1801V. This is another printing calculator. Uh, I forgot to mention that, I can't remember if this one allows batteries, but uh, the Sharp does not, at least removable batteries. This one does not either. I know I have a few that you can either plug in or use the battery power. Uh, but we gotta plug this one in. Can you plug that in? This is a, a pretty cool one as well. It's pretty modern, I think. It looks modern. And here's this one. Uh, the same type of thing here, all the operations. This is the paper feed button up here. Whoops. That's usually what I do. Uh, all the memory stuff, your tax rate, uh, the rate set switches up here, so you can set your tax rate. I believe this one is just like the, let me grab it. Yeah, the, this is just like my EL1750V, where you can, in order to set the tax rate, you flip the switch to tax uh, rate set, put your tax rate in, hit tax plus, and then switch it back to neutral, and then you can find your subtotal, hit tax plus again, and it'll give you the tax added to your subtotal, so giving you your, your grand total. I'm going to set it down, so it's not wobbly. Uh, that's that one. That also might be an option to set. No, that has to be on rate. Yeah, excuse me. It has to be on rate set in order to set your tax rate. Here's some miscellaneous buttons up here. Grand total, notable. And yeah, I don't know if I showed the, the backside of this one. The paper is also being fussy with this calculator, so I'm still working on that. But uh, it would just feed in like any other printing calculator. You kind of usher the paper into the slick here on the back and then hit the feed button, which on this one is right here. And last but not least, I'll switch this one off. We have a Casio HR150L big print printing calculator. Uh, this one I was able to get the paper in just fine. This one was not fussy at all. Uh, this one is one that you can either plug in, for which I do not have the cord, although it might work with uh, another cord I have, but you can also, it also works with battery power. Here's the on switch, uh, the round or decimal switch here, and the roundings on the end. Uh, the paper feed is over here, memory, number pad, all the good stuff. Uh, tax rate, I still haven't figured out. I noticed a lot of you guys were asking questions about how to set the tax rates on each of my printing calculators. Um, some of these I have explored and some of these I have not. Like the Sharp I had explored because it was so similar to a calculator I already own. But 
this one I'll have to look into. So if any of you are wondering how to uh, set the tax rate, just leave me a comment and I'll, I'll figure it out and explain it to you. I think that is just about going to do it, guys. Except I'm going to show you the back here. I don't know if I did. Uh, that's just about going to do it for this video. Keep your eyes open for more videos in the future. Uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we will see you guys in the next video.